Today plunged us into the depths of despair, testing the very limits of our courage and resolve. As soldiers of the German Aufklärungs Battalion, we pride ourselves on our ability to gather intelligence and navigate the treacherous terrain of war. But nothing could have prepared us for the hellish nightmare that awaited us. The East German Battalion we encountered was a formidable force, their numbers overwhelming, their firepower unmatched. We were like lambs led to the slaughter, our hearts heavy with the knowledge of our impending doom. In the face of such overwhelming odds, hope seemed like a cruel joke, a fleeting whisper in the darkness. We fought tooth and nail, clinging to every shred of hope as we launched desperate ambushes and guerrilla attacks against the enemy. Blood stained the earth beneath our feet, cries of agony pierced the air like daggers to the soul. The stench of death hung heavy in the air, a grim reminder of the cost of war. But against all odds, we emerged from the depths of despair, battered and bruised, but unbroken. Our victory came at a heavy price, the toll of war etched into the faces of every man and woman in our unit. We may have won the battle, but the scars of today will haunt us for the rest of our days. As we lick our wounds and mourn the fallen, I can't help but wonder what horrors tomorrow will bring. The East Germans may have been defeated for now, but their thirst for revenge knows no bounds. Hey guys, Stealth here and welcome back to Warno. We're on episode 7 and the situation is looking pretty grim. The situation here is that we have a potential break-in from the MSR 22 and 23. Now we've seen what happened to the Aufklärungs Battalion. That's uh, not exactly in a fighting state. So that means the 142nd is going to have to try and stop them, which is um, optimistic, shall we say. So what I'm going to try and do is try and reunite these two groups if they want to attack one they'll have to attack the other. And maybe together, these guys can stop whatever is coming. The area over here is also similarly problematic. We have this unit over here, MSR 24, and they might be seeming to try and cut me off. If they're able to dash in here, it is very possible that the 11th Cavalry is gonna get cut off. So we're gonna have to try and push these guys out of existence. Something else that I am very much uh, concerned about is these forests. All these tiles have forests on them, and that's not where my tanks do best. The, the Panzergrands can do better there, but, well, we've seen that their efficiency in actually holding any territory is not great. So the way that I see it, I have a couple options, and I think the best one is to try and fall back to just south here of Grebenau. Uh, this way I will not get encircled and I buy myself a little bit more time before the flood comes. So I'm going to push these guys here. I'm going to push these guys here with them. And if they want to attack now, at least we'll do that on open ground. As for the VKK442, four, uh, four, four, it is very much a security group. I don't expect a lot from these guys, but they can add morale. And that means additional units as well as less chance of getting just rolled over and killed off. Now I'm very much keeping an eye on the action points here. We have 7 for 12, which means that attacking or defending can still be done, as it consumes 4. So these guys are ready, these guys are ready, and these guys unfortunately are not ready, but well, I'm not exactly in a hurry to use those guys anyway. I think that defending right now is the biggest priority, so let's see where the AI wants to start pushing. Oh, they're gonna try and make another dash. Isn't that nice? They're splitting their forces. Interesting. I was expecting one big blob here around to Breitenbach. But right now, that's not what they're doing. And they're pushing a little bit towards the west, towards Schwarzenborn. Ah, here we go. Two groups incoming. And now they're attacking the Reconnaissance Battalion. But I can also get the Panzer Grenadiers in. This should make it easier. Um, there used to be an NTR group somewhere around Bad Hersfeld. I'm not sure if it's still there. I'm just going to test it using my own air force because this is probably going to need a bit of help. Oh, for fuck's sake. They moved it. It's west of Kirchheim, which means I'll probably lose a jet. Um, anti aircraft deployed, yes. Did I actually lose anything? Yeah, I lost a plane. Lovely. Okay, fine. We'll do it without planes. Reinforcement points. Six per minute, that's fine. We got 140 uh, group resilience, that's fine. 
Let's see what the battle has in store. What sort of battlefield we're going to be fighting on is going to be very much determining how I'm going to play this. Okay, it's nice open. Um, that's it's not necessarily good. It's not necessarily bad. If it was Abrams I'd be using in this battle, it'd be great. Because the Abrams do fantastically well. The Germans, slightly less so. But it might give me options with the Milan troops. The Milans themselves, not terribly accurate. Although if I put a leader around them, that might help. And a position where I would have a bit of cover, as well as a building, would be great. But defending all the way over here? I don't really want to. But considering the vast numbers of units that they will be throwing at me, I think for the time being, I might need to do exactly that. And then maybe later, we can push back with whatever few Leopards we have remaining. Or... Or I can try and break their morale, but I need to go through 140 points. That's quite a lot. So first, let's play defensive. Let's get this into, or let's turn this into a war of attrition. Let's make these guys bleed. Deploy a leader here. I want to deploy another leader here. I want to have a couple of resuppliers already standing by. Because these ATGMs are going to have to fire pretty much non-stop. If they stop, we're going to run into trouble. The building over here has fairly poor range, so I'm not very interested in that. As for my flanks, I might need to put something on here because this road does present a threat. So let's have a little bit over there. I'm thinking another two Milans. And they're going to get a reconnaissance unit. Uh, let's say drop that off there, drop this off here. Drop these guys off here, these here, the leader there, and the leader there. Then, we're going to need further reconnaissance. Let's say I have the reconnaissance in the middle, that should work. This area is a threat, because it is possible that they're going to take the road and then come thundering into my side. So again, more Milans. More Milans is currently <laughs> the operative phrase here. I have, thankfully, a ton of these guys, so that should really help. I'm a bit hesitant to use my mortars, because I don't know how well the enemy counter battery is, but from what I've seen, it is particularly on point, and really quite deadly. Okay, let's put a Razit over there. Uh, let's put a Razit over here. Previously on this battlefield, I used to have a line of Abrams. That simply will not work this time around. I don't have the units. I don't have the firepower that the Abrams did. The Leopard 1A1 is a very poor substitute. Now, this gives me another 44 points. I'm not really sure what to do with another 44 points. So I'm guessing I'm going to just deploy a couple, if I still have them, looks. Way on the edge of the map. <clears throat> Try and have these guys hide out here. And then push into the back of the enemy. And start hunting down artillery units. So their objective is to go here and stay hidden. Don't do anything offensive. As for the buildings here, I can try putting a couple of Panzer Grenadiers in, but I think they'll just get wiped out very quickly because they will not have support. And the Panzer Grenadiers without support, they don't tend to do very well, shall we say. Now what I can do is make a sort of roving group of Jaguars because they have the tow twos. So let's say... A group of four Jags. It was the only Jags I get, so I better make use of them. Uh, with a command unit and a Razit. <laughs> it's a weird, weird hunter group. But if these guys can actually start landing missiles, that would be very valuable. Because they definitely hit the hardest of the units that I have. They're also vulnerable to ATGMs themselves. So that is going to be a very uh, delicate balancing act. Let's start spreading out logistics units, making sure they don't get wiped out all at the same time. Um, yeah, what else do I need? I can bring a, a hunter group, if you will, of martyrs, potentially with the Milan. Because that way I will be able to get a couple of Milans out there and use the martyrs as uh, killers for enemy infantry. And since the vehicle is free and the infantry is not, I might be able to just make use of that. 
I just don't know what I'm going to do with the infantry. I might park those guys into a town or something. It's not a great use of the infantry, but for now, we'll just have to defend. Okay, a couple of points in reserve. Let's deploy and let's launch. Yeah, I should be able to cap this fairly quickly. Okay, you're hunter group three. Uh, you boys are going to drop off your gentlemen over there. Uh, I don't know, Panzer Grenadier, just go chill in this building here. You guys go chill in that building. <laughs> and hope that you don't get arty to high heavens. That would be rather unfortunate. Uh, you can join group two. And over here, I also had a martyr. You can join group one. I have the defense here. If they rush this side, it's going to be a relocation of the Jaguar hunting group to assist here. Although, probably from over there. Because if I push these too close, I will start taking... Oh, for fuck's sake. I will start taking hits. Um, I don't know. Kill it. It's a BMP-1. It will one-shot you. But your auto cannons are pretty useful. Ooh. Hello. Come on. You better suppress them fast, though. Watch this. He's going to shoot and he's going <laughs> to... Nice try. Poor execution. All right. Bring it. I am ticking, but that is soon going to change, of course. There we go. And here comes the enemy. Jags opening up. I want to have you hold fire. I don't want to have these guys fire all at the same time, because that's a phenomenal waste of missiles. Now we're going to have one Jaguar we'll almost immediately get wiped out. Oh, I didn't drop these boys off. You know what? We're going to pull these mortars into the fight. The Milans over here are going to get pretty busy, which means that their logistics units are going to run dry fairly soon. Milans here engaging. That should be a kill on the T-55. Yep. Side shots are nice. Alright, what's happening here? You're trying to kill that mortar? Okay, now you guys can open up as well, because my Milans are already coming under fire. And I'm not a fan of that. There goes one Milan. There goes the second. This is not going exactly as I had hoped. At all, I should say. God damn it, you guys cannot resupply, really? Go hunt something. You got ATGMs, make him count. Let's get uh, more ATGMs in here, because this is getting out of hand already. Make it a quad stack. Oh, boys, 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 boys. Here come the mortars. Let's shoot and maneuver. And do the same thing here. Oh, boy. Fall back, fall back, fall back. It's a nice plan on paper, but in practice, it doesn't work that well. I'm really curious as to whether these Jaguars have hit anything at all. But right now, I'm rather... Rather doubting that they actually have. So there's nothing left of my hunting group. But... What they're using right now is just a couple of supporting units. Um, let's get two more Martyrs in. Run. I can pretty... Certainly expect fire to come in soon. Pull back. Go to this building. We got these Milans, but they're... They're depleted? Okay. Drop! We'll just start spamming more Milans. And we'll start spamming Logies. Bloody hell. All of these Milans is getting wiped out. Shoot that and maneuver. Group 5. I cannot have these guys start entering these buildings. This quad stack of Panzer Grenadiers is going to now have to fight. Bloody hell, dude. 
Kommandostelle. Achtung, Feind im Nahbereich. I need these guys to start actually hitting targets because at this rate there won't be any Milans left. The Russians are definitely bleeding units. We've scored about 40 points in kills. We're gonna need a bit more. You guys are still shelling. There's one HGM in there. Let's push these martyrs forward. I'm gonna run it a little slower. Of Clara might get a kill here. Nope, fall back. I'm gonna push all of these guys into this building. I'm not sure if that'll fit. These Milans are still engaging one tank. Really? You can hit that? Right between these two buildings. That is fancy HGMing. Okay, I'm um, sorry, recon group. I'm gonna need leopards. Just as many as you can field. Make a roving group of leopards. I have the points for it. I might as well send it. Unfortunately, I don't have a command tank. So the commander is going to have to sit in an APC. There. <clears throat> um, let's push three of them up. Bloody hell. Sure is a lot of you guys. The T-55s are retreating. That's unexpected. Bit of mortar fire landing here. That's fine. I need you guys to start taking these out. Really? Take the tree line. I feel that points-wise we're... We're trading just up, but not by much. Okay, that should kill that tank. Nice one. Those Concours don't really have any business being here. There we go. I need to start resupplying. Urgent. I need the mortars to relocate so they don't get attacked. You guys need to heal up. For now, we might have had the worst of it. Oh, that building got destroyed. And so did this. Missile out, we're gonna hit something. Nope. That missile just disappeared. Cool. Um, hit this with the mortars. And then relocate. And you guys, shoot and relocate. Here comes the leopard blob. Once these leopards start hitting the fields and are able to just overwhelm the enemy with sheer numbers, we might be able to push back quite a few points. Are you kidding? What the fuck? You can hit all the way- wow. Alright. So be it. Uh, do I have more of the AGGM gentlemen? Yes. It's really unfortunate there's no further buildings here. Also, they got about 12 minutes to victory, unless something goes spectacularly wrong for them. But I'm going to need to get a lot of kills before something like that ha happens. Leopards. Make a move. Hunt there and go to a line formation. This martyr should be able to make some of this infantry disappear. Oh, these guys are armed with a Metis! Okay. I didn't register that. So that's why I'm losing all sorts of vehicles to infantry. Um, yeah. This is not particularly helpful. That's the Metis gone at the expense of one Leopard. Five group. Just deploy smoke here, if you will. Our morale dropped to 80%. Yeah, but theirs is crashing faster than mine is. A lot of targets over there. So hit that and relocate. Now, I believe that all of my HGM units are dead. That sucks. I thought I told you guys to throw smoke. Here, smoke position. 
uh, smoke that position because that's where the ATGM came from. Fire maneuver. I probably should have split my leopards and had a couple of them here and a couple of them over here. As opposed to this massive blob, don't die. Fuck me, I'm not playing this well, sorry. I'm gonna start losing leopards everywhere now. Everybody smoke up if you can and just fall back. I only have five leopards remaining now. Six. No, five. Sorry, five. Group five, relocate and shell. What are you hitting now? Can you leave my logistics alone, you think? I have no defense here. Nothing. Um, there's one thing that those Conqueror's vehicles cannot hit, and that's my infantry. So let's just position the rest of my ATGM forces over there. Make them hold out as long as possible. Ceasefire, relocate. How many shells you got left? Plenty. Plenty. Good. Take out this Conqueror's truck. I don't really have anything else that can help, I'm afraid. Let's get this uh, machine gunner to a position where they might be able to deal with this Metis. Because I'm sure as hell not sacrificing the Martyrs for that. And these Milans are still not getting resupplied. I thought the resupply circle for the logistics units was bigger than that, but unfortunately no such thing. You drop off and kill that uh, recon unit, if you will. Nope. Move. Move. Not you. Go home. Okay, just start popping things. You don't want to attack through the open area. I might not have a whole lot of defenses, but I can surely at least kill one unit of infantry. Although that T-55 is kind of getting in my way. That helps. Thank you, guys. That helps. Keep them at bay. There's also a nice little bit of trouble brewing over there. Get in the building. Just destroyed one of my Unimogs. I got 64 morale points left. Just start <laughs> killing this. And now I'm wasting HGMs. I just need to get more kills. It's potentially not the best way to go about it. But at this point, I am just trying to defend as much as I possibly can. Kill as many of their vehicles as I possibly can. Machine gun opening up. That's good. That should kill the Metis. Oh, sorry, the Motorschützen. There. I don't think these guys really need help, but I have it available, so I might as well. I got 53 points left. Or rather, 53 points that I still need to kill. Good kill. That's a vehicle gone. This is going to be more challenging. Hmm. Oh, nice. Infantry groups. But it's just motor... Sh oh, that's a Metis. Prioritize that. Stun them. Thank you. These are not allowed to launch their HGM. Kill. 44 points left to kill. These motor shoots and pioneers are making it easy. They only got an RPG. They will never get into range if it's up to me. Get a couple of looks here. Auto cannons would be nice to suppress these. This one, finish this off. There's another Metis. Uh, five, hit there. Four, hit there. You're empty. 
need to fall back a little. 42 points left. Oh, this is not great. Quite a lot pushing in now. It's unfortunate my air wing was unable to assist here. This would have been a fantastic bombing target. These Panzer Grenadiers are getting a little overwhelmed. I do still have Martyrs. So let's bring in the Martyrs. <coughs> Here's the Lux group. Kill that. That has a, an infantry in it inside. You kill that, you instantly kill the unit. Thank you. There's another. Kill. Good kill. There's Metis over there. They're definitely bleeding now. Badly. They're down to 26 points before I get a, I think, total victory? Their Conqueror's vehicles here are getting destroyed en masse. The amount of shit that's getting blown up on this road. Some of it not even facing me. Death Highway over there. Oh, that's a Metis. Kill that. It's hefty damage. <clears throat> Stunned it. Ooh. <laughs> that got a little closer than I wanted. Push the looks. Leopards, target. Quick hunt. Met is down. Nine points left. It was an expensive battle, this one. Lost a couple of good units. Most of all, a couple more Leopards. And I, I get it, they're not great tanks. But they are tanks. And in such a case, it's better to just have tanks than to not have them. Because they did prove useful. Position yourself like that. Ooh, hello, hello. Be a shame if something happened to that. Four group is too far away. Alright, they need seven points. I need seven points. If I can kill that, that'd be great. Mortars are armed. A waiting target. Two point thirty six to victory. Let's finish this up. Oh. Okay. Unexpected. To some extent. Yeah, they will push me here. And they will get some kills as well. Get out. You have no business being here. A BMP is taking fire. Whoa, 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 whoa. One conqueror is in the back. These Milans are toast. Can't exactly save them. What's that range? About a thousand. If I'm able to put my infantry outside the vehicle and use the martyrs to suppress this, I might be able to get some kills here. We need six points. Five group. Are those... Really? Yes, really. Infantry back. Uh, that's quite a lot of firepower you got there. Okay, their CV here is dead. That bought me some time. Mm, where do you guys need to go up? If I could take this building with the infantry, I might be able to support the martyrs. Sort of mutual support. Three points left. Still raining shit on these guys. That's good. Drop off. Drop off. No, not all of you. You can stop. Ah, oh, they pushed the new CV in. Nah. That has to be the same one, right? Two points left to kill. Move. Whoa! New knot. 
Right, let me guess, it's not a vehicle, it's an infantry unit. I can't hit that with an ATGM. What are you launching missiles at? My looks? Please don't. We found these guys yet? No. They're definitely in here somewhere. Come on, I need some of these anti-tank guns eliminated. They're just rushing empty transports into my lines now. Which is annoying, as it does not give me kills. Oh, this is also pretty annoying. Ah, we got him. Whew. Okay. Wait, what? 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 Oh, they got the conquest points? Oh, come on, dude. I got 140 points in kills just then. What the fuck? Oh, that's... Yeah, okay. They don't... <laughs> the fifth got destroyed. And now they're attacking me again. Bloody hell. At this point... Um... This is gonna get really rough. What do they have left? No more concourse, that's nice, but I don't have any HGMs either. Oh, I got some. Alright, if they want to come again, we're gonna have to go again. I think my whole left flank is gonna fall pretty soon. Because this is not something I can hold. Why are we suddenly playing a different map? That confuses me. Anyway, um, let's put some CVs into play. I instantly get Charlie. I should be pretty quickly getting Bravo as well. So I just need one CV. Um, I think we're going to have to fight a retreating town battle here. And just let them come to me. My logistics are still okay. So I can make that work for a while. I don't have any push capability though. I do still have my panzer mortars. So my mortars. That should help. Alright. So... Let's set up a defense. There's no flanking route here. There is one slightly over there. It's arguably somewhat dangerous. Put yourself there. Uh, two more. Put yourself... Yeah, they're going to definitely use this road. They might not even need that one. Go there. You. The leader is going to also join this town. You're going to go here. You're also going to go here. We're going to deploy a bunch of ATGMs. But finding a good building for them... Like, that's going to have to be over there. That is pushing it. The moment that we get overwhelmed by tanks, we're toast. Because these guys can fire ATGMs, but the tanks can fire back just at 2275 whereas my range is what still 2450 i think yeah so i slightly outrange them but if they mass up they will push me out if they rain already on my position which surprisingly i have not seen them do they will push me out more hgms there all the other ATGMs. Yeah, I think there. <clears throat> it's not a great building. But it might be able to... Yeah, this one. Right here. And we can have some Panzer infantry over there. How many points do I need to kill? Um, 125. Jesus. Okay. Well, we do what we must. <clears throat> I am also going to have to do something about this particular position. Because if they do push in, I am in for a rough surprise. I am going to be in for a rough time. Get a recon over there. Uh, get another recon all the way over there. There's a thought. Yeah, why not? 
Let's just move over there. So at least we'll be able to see what, if anything, is going to come down this road. There. This is not a spawn zone, is it? No. This one is. Which I will have to keep in mind because it's a bit of an odd spawn zone. Machine gun. Can be useful. Like there. And those other nine points, I'm thinking just getting mortars and hammering their positions as much as I can. I am a bit salty about that total defeat that I had in the other battle. I think that's nonsense. You, 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 and you. Let's go. <clears throat> okay, let's launch. No, this should be close enough for the mortars. You capture this. And I kind of desperately need a total victory. In case you're wondering why am I not attacking from here, um, I don't think I can hold this position. I think there is too much potentially going to come down from there. So I'm not even going to risk it. Oh, I forgot a leader here, didn't I? Oh, Iltis. Okay, whatever. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. The other Iltises are running off. Um, are you having a meeting here or what? Look at all this shit. They even dismounted their infantry? I know the AI always knows where your units are, but this is a bit weird. Contact. I need to get a recon over there, because I can't see anything. Oversight. Let's fix that right quick. Kill. There was a Conqueror's on the side. I completely forgot about this position. And I don't have any HEGMs left for it, so... Um, yeah, it's going to have to come down to a couple of mortars. And they're counter-capping my position. Kind of as expected. I am not interested in this bullshit. It's clever, pushing right through the middle, because that's a position where I don't really have that much. Kill. Come on, can we please hit something? Okay, fine, open up. Lead vehicle. Thank you. Okay, that was the first few points. And here comes the vehicle spam. Logis. Forward. We're going to keep the HGMs pumping out. Again, War of Attrition. It seems to be the name of the whole damn campaign. Shit. That was not part of my plan. What they kill? An Iltis. Okay. Um, drop off and fall back. No, no, the vehicles. God's sake. I'm so used to having vehicle command the moment that I click something or that I offload something that, for fuck's sake, that it's so annoying not to have the vehicle selected. If that's a setting I can change, by all means, please let me know because it just fucks me up every time. These guys hit this. This is getting uncomfortably close. Mostly because it's already in the damn town. Holy shit. And that's what happens when you don't have reconnaissance on your flanks. And they also killed the Iltis that was supposed to bring in the reconnaissance unit. Kill. Come on, got the other concourse. Really? Gentlemen. Thank you. Hold that side. How are the AGGMs holding? Almost full. These Unimogs are still not resupplying, are they? Okay. Yeah, 
just start hitting this, because there's plenty to go around. I don't have the firepower to deal with this many BMPs. You guys, just hammer this as much as we can. We need firepower on this position before they overwhelm me and flank me. Really? You missed that? And you missed it again? These guys are worthless without a leader. Finally. You, get in here. You, get in here. Kill. Got a whole host of metas over here. Here. Uh, one. Two. There. Uh, why is there an infantry pushing into my lines? Worst of all, an anti-air infantry unit. Because that's just stupid. Come on. Get the BMP. Roll over to the next building. Thank you. Oh, it's stunned. Good work. Let's get a couple of resuppliers here. Actually, no, that's the wrong group. Uh, group 1. Already there. We are still ticking for a victory. If I can live long enough, I can make it work. Okay. This Unimog still has missiles. Or ammo, rather. That's a Metis. I cannot push with the infantry or with the, the martyrs right now. Kill. Time to get that recon unit positioned. Let's say here. Yeah, here. Resupply the infantry. Boost the command level of the infantry. This machine gun needs to start getting its ass together, but. It does not have a good position. It also does not have range. Okay. Kill. Good. There's another Metis infantry. Fall back. No, you're wasting your missiles on something else. Potentially that. Give me another martyr here. What I don't get about the AI is just pushing forward and then pulling back and pushing forward. They're just not moving into my town over there. They're just kind of holding. This is not good, though. That's pioneers. Pioneers are quite dangerous. Kill. Good work for the Panzer Grenadiers here. You resupply that. Hello. Not in range yet. Oh, the pioneers are bugging off again. That's fine. Okay, drop off the infantry. Motor shoots in right in the open. I don't think so. Now the machine gun can open up. Oh, dude. Can you not? I cannot push out. Not with that anti-tank gun over there. Kill. Oh! Okay. Yeah, they definitely have eyes on. 
This target. Again, we're making him pay for it. That's the whole goal. Make him pay for the offensive here. Time to start reinforcing this town. They're definitely getting closer. These martyrs are doing fantastic work from this position. If they had one tank over there, I'd be in so much trouble. I would not be able to hold this position. Target that. As for these transports, I'm just going to let them sit there. They're not a threat. They don't have any active weaponry for me. So I'm not bothered by them. This guy is starting to have a bit of a rough time. So let's get rid of these. Let them rush into the next building. Or die trying. Kill on the anti-tank gun. It's very hard for me to figure out what they can and cannot see. Oh, you're engaging my Milans. That's what you're doing. Now I get it. Four HGM slam into the MTLB. Ju well, <laughs> they try to, anyway. <laughs> Efficacy leaves something to be desired. Got more pioneers over there. I did bring in more infantry. Oh, they're still en route. Okay, fine. Oh, you guys are here? Oh, I'm not a fan. Pull back. Just yeah, right about now would be good. You go back, you smoke yourself up, and you run away. Still looks like a total victory, if I'm patient enough. And so far, I'm not losing units, but they are. Keep pushing them. And so far as you can actually call that what I'm doing. Round about there. Ah. There's more. Kill. Good hit. Accuracy is not quite what I was hoping for. I'm so happy they're not constantly counter-battering my positions. My mortars can just sit here with impunity. They're also plotting something here. No, that's a resupply for a, an anti-air infantry, don't bother. What I'm a bit concerned about is the numbers that they seem to be forming up with here. Like, there might be a bit more than I currently can handle. There. Morale dropped to 50%. We're gonna make them pay for the 5th. Remember the 5th. What the hell? Okay. That's a... an interesting target. I mean, it's just two guys and a gun, so shame if something happened to it. Good work. Hello. What are you doing in my town? I'm gonna have to resupply some of these guys. Missile, 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 and kill. It's like they're running out of units. This way, dude, and then sell. We seem to now be coming under artillery fire. There. And that's going to be really bad news for all the surviving AGGMs. Full back one building. I'm going to try and rush these guys out of this situation. But that does come with a risk. Oh, the building just got destroyed. 
Ooh. It's not a good idea to rush out of a building while it's under artillery attack, I know that, but it's safer to push them out of this building than to keep them in there. What? Here too? What the fuck? That just wiped out all three of them. God damn, those are big guns. That's the entire left flank's ATGM force destroyed. I'm gonna need you to fight me that artillery. <clears throat> Not that I can actually kill it. But, I don't know, maybe I can rush forward with a bunch of mortars? Militärstreifen. This is a security force. This has no business being here. Oh! Run! Damn it. Got greedy. Oh fuck, now they got a counter artery. Now the counter battery is on point. Fire maneuver. I think you are MT. Your friends are too, probably. Yep. Yep, instantly, before my barrage is even complete. Damn. That counter already is deadly. I might be able to fire two salvos, and then I'm gonna have to scoot. That was about two salvos, and it started counter-attacking. My actual effects seem to be limited. I'm not really dealing any kind of damage. Yep, there's the second bit. Oh! I think they can see them. Yep, they can definitely see them. They're too far forward. No, I don't need to waste my ammo on that. I decided to skip a bit of the recording because it's just me waiting and there's only two and a half minutes left at this point. I am dashing across this field with six mortars, and that's about all that I'm doing for the last couple of, well, I don't know, ten minutes or so. I'm just trying to dash, um, get some damage in, and then run like hell, because every single artillery gun on the map opens up on my last known position. Watch this, there's already there, here, here, and this guy ran out of fuel. Oh, you're so screwed, dude. And unfortunately, I need 7 minutes to victory, and we only have 50 seconds left. So by the looks of it, the enemy is going to get a draw. Which really irks me, considering how much I killed off, and the amount of victory points that I've acquired. But it is not going to benefit me, which makes this all the more sour. Here comes the draw. It's a draw! Our forces stay in place, our forces earn a fatigue point, they earn 2. Kills 90 points, losses 8. I can live with that. Now, this really begs the question, what is going to happen to the enemy battle group? And, um... Ah, oh, fuck, my forces are disorganized, and now they're going to surrender. If I did not have that stupid... ...that one of their F-111 squadrons diverted from Fulda with a full bomb load. They can pass temporarily under your control. Temporarily? Sure. Grim Reaper's at the ready, sir. Let's drop some bombs. Ooh, we got F-11s. 111s. Nice. Um, if I did not get that stupid total defeat here, I would have held the line. But now, I might need to start pulling my forces back to Alsfeld in a hurry. Because this will not hold. Thankfully, in one turn, we're going to get Panzer Battalions. And that is some proper armor. That is Leopard 2A3s. So we're going to be able to start pushing back. But that will be in a future episode.
Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon for more.